Today, I'm excited to announce the largest investment ever in species preservation and de-extinction, the Series C financing for Colossal, which is bringing $200 million of new capital in the threat of loss of biodiversity. Between now and 2050, only 25 years, we could lose up to 50% of all biodiversity on the planet. That's a terrifying future that I don't want to live in, that I don't think anybody else wants to live in. Colossal and our partners around the world are working day and night to build tools and technologies to prevent that outcome and stop the extinction crisis. Colossal is not just about bringing back woolly mammoths and thylacines and dodos. Colossal's larger mission is actually in returning species back into the wild and helping that ecosystem flourish. And an investment of this size into the extinction technologies allows us to develop new tools and innovate in new ways that conservation just currently isn't innovating. Modern conservation works, it just doesn't work at the speed of which we're changing the planet. This new funding allows us to put more resources to them to accelerate the great progress that the women and men scientists at Colossal are doing to help bring those species back to this planet even faster. We have 170 of the greatest scientists in the world working on this project. We have 40 postdocs in academic labs all around the world. We work with 17 of the most prestigious universities that are all coming together on this one big topic of solving the biodiversity crisis. If we are successful in our goal, Goals, we will be able to engineer new genetic diversity that has been lost to time into species and we'll be able to grow tons of species using artificial wombs and that will change conservation forever. This new investment into de-extinction allows us to not only work to accelerate the species that we're already working on, the mammoth, the thylacine, dodo, and bring them back to Earth even faster, but it also allows us to even explore new species that we could also work to de-extinct. Just like the seed vaults and what we've done with plants, where we've actually backed up seeds and we have seeds growing in different secure locations around the world, biobanking is about taking tissue samples and freezing them and preserving them. So if we ever lost that species, we could potentially bring it back. But we need to take biobanking to the next level, and that's what we're calling bio vaults. We actually need to take lots of tissue samples from lots of existing species from different populations. We need to do computational analysis to understand all the genetic diversity and all the genetic mapping on it. We then need to actually establish cell lines and establish induced pluripotent stem cells so that we always have a fresh living sample of those species back in a secure location. If Colossal is successful in its mission, we will not only see mammoths and thylacines and dodos reintroduced back into the wild, but we'll also see conservation groups and governments all around the world using our tools and technologies to save existing species. And maybe one day, extinction can truly be a thing of the past.